LKH, the LKH multi-stage and the LKHP ranges. This video focuses on the standard LKH range. The all-round LKH pump is used for pumping heavy-duty products. The pumping process is carried out by an impeller connected to a shaft which is driven by a motor. The semi-open impeller provides unobstructed product flow into the impeller which gives low NPSH requirements. The parts surrounding the impeller are all designed for gentle product treatment at high capacities. In order to prevent adverse process stops, the customer must maintain the LKH pump regularly. The following sequence will demonstrate how the LKH pump is dismantled and reassembled. To maintain the LKH pump, the tools shown are required. Unscrew cap nuts, remove washers and pump casing. Remove the screw and safety guard. Remove the impeller screw. Remove the impeller. If necessary, loosen the impeller by tapping gently on the impeller vanes. Remove the O-ring. Pull off the O-ring. Unscrew the nuts, remove the washers and back plate. Remove the stationary seal ring. Remove the O-ring. Remove the complete shaft seal. Remove the spring and the rotating seal ring from the drive ring. Remove the spring. Make sure that the O-ring has maximum clearance from the sealing surface. Refit the spring on the rotating seal ring. Fit the spring and the rotating seal ring on the drive ring. Ensure that the driver on the drive ring enters the notch in the rotating seal ring. Fit the complete shaft seal on the stub shaft. Make sure that the connex pin on the stub shaft enters the notch in the drive ring. Fit the O-ring on the stationary seal ring and lubricate it. Screw the stationary seal ring into the back plate.
clean the sealing surfaces with contact cleaner before fitting the back plate. Carefully guide the back plate onto the adapter. Fit the washers and nuts. Lubricate the O-ring. Slide the O-ring onto the back plate. Lubricate the O-ring. Fit the O-ring in the impeller. Lubricate the impeller hub with silicone grease or oil. Screw the impeller onto the stub shaft. Fit the impeller screw and tighten. Fit the safety guard and screw and tighten. Fit the pump casing, washers and cap nuts. Adjust the pump casing to the right position. Tighten the nuts for the back plate. Tighten the cap nuts. Fit the lip seal in the seal housing. Lubricate the O-ring. Slide the O-ring onto the seal housing. Mount the seal housing on the back plate. Tighten the screws. Lubricate the O-ring.